Welcome to Coffee with Colin. We are back with um, our ongoing episode of Coupon Organization. Um, last week, I kind of went over the different methods and got to talk to a lovely reader. And um, this week, I'm actually going to go over my favorite method, which is the binder. But I do want to say once again, like I mentioned last week, the binder may not work for everyone. So just because I'm going to tell you about my favorite method doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So, and as I said, it is very time consuming. So please, you know, make sure you keep that in mind. So, okay. So here's my wonderful binder. And a lot of people go with different binders. I like this. I just, I don't like the zippered binders and my thoughts on that are the ones I've had aren't made very well. I know there's some that are. The other problem is that as you can see, I've got a lot of coupons. Now you might have so many, so you might not have as many, so this may not be an issue. But for me, the zippered binder, it wasn't zipping, you know, it was like I would have to shove it down. And to me, it just wasn't working. Plus, with my wonderful purse here, as you guys may remember from a previous video, when I put my binder in here, I actually don't have to take my binder out. I can literally like file through it as I'm in the grocery store. So um, it's just kind of nice not having a zipper on it. All right. So now I'm going to go into kind of the details of what's inside my binder. Um, I've got the first thing is just a little zippered compartment. You know, I've got my scissors, calculator, um, even receipts from maybe just a shopping trip I just, just did. Or sometimes I'll even put coupons in here that I haven't had time to file. So the next thing is I've got this little index of all my categories. And you guys are going to be able to print this off. So um it's just, and again, you can do your own categories or you can even do it alphabetical, you know, however you want to do it. So that's totally up to you, but this kind of gives you a little guideline of what we do. I like to do it, um, it's kind of categorized by the grocery store, which makes it real easy. So the first category too, I want to mention, I'm not going to go through all these categories because that would be, well, very boring, but um, I'll just mention a few. The first category is free, and it, that means it's for free product coupons. Why I love to put this category up front because, you know, when you get these coupons, you want to make sure to use them. I mean, they're for free products, so why wouldn't you? So I always like to put them up front. It's a reminder, and I can check and make sure that nothing is about to expire. Um, so anyways, that's, that's my main tip for you guys to keep have a free category. Um, the next category is produce, and from there it just kind of goes condiments, and it just goes in order like that. And... Um, and then I've got like a miscellaneous section. So as you go through all these, look at all those wonderful coupons, we get down to um, the personal care area, which is cosmetics, oral care, hair care. And again, you can, you know, kind of organize it however you want. Um, let me get down here. And then I've got, you know, um, baby, pets. And obviously that's an um, optional category there. So if you don't have kids, you don't really need a baby category, don't have pets, don't need that. So you always, you know, you don't have to put those in there. And then at the back here, I've got a miscellaneous and then I have a store coupons category. And thanks to a tip, actually I got a tip last week from a reader named Jen, so I wanna thank you. She actually had emailed about um, just a tip on Target coupons. And it actually was a really great tip for me because Target coupons were just a mess for me. I mean, I had them like piled somewhere and you know, they were just thrown about and not organized. So she had told me what she does instead of clipping them because as you know, there's so many Target store coupons and other store coupons too. She just, she prints off all of her Target coupons and, which I've done right here and she just hole punches them. And I think that's a great thing because they're big enough that you can do that and then when you're in the store, they're so easy to flip through and it doesn't take, you know, you don't have to take time to clip them right away. And the other thing that she does, I haven't done this yet, is she'll actually, after she prints them, she'll go through and she'll like match up the coupons and she'll just write up here, if Dentine has a manufacturer coupon that um, can go with this Target coupon, she'll write the date of that, which is nice because when you're in Target, you're not having to flip back and forth. You can say, oh, I have a coupon for this, you know, and then you'll know what the price is going to be after you stack both coupons. So thanks, Jen. Awesome tip. Um, okay, so I did that and then, you know, just more Target store coupons and if you have other, um, if you have other stores in your area that have store coupons, you can put those here. And then in the way back, I've got my um, coupon policies, which as you know, I'm sure it's very important to carry those. Um, you know, if you have any sort of issues at the store, like, you know, Rite Aid saying, oh, we don't accept printed coupons or you know, maybe a store talking about, oh, you can't use two coupons on a buy one, get one a free sale. You know, it's so nice to have these coupon policies on hand. So I'm going to have links below this video for you guys to print those off. But um, it's just, it's so nice. And it makes you feel a lot more confident when you're shopping because, you know, you always have these on hand. You can always whip them out and show them to the cashier. So 
there you have it. There's my wonderful coupon binder. All right, so I wanna give you guys a couple more tips that are really important when you're um, buying the uh, materials needed for your binder. The first tip is to make sure that you are getting plastic dividers. I cannot express this enough to you. It just, it's not worth getting the paper. If you do, you're gonna have to keep replacing them. These go through a lot of when you're flipping back and forth and when you have the paper, it tears and it's just not worth it. So, you know, invest in the plastic. It's totally worth it. The other tip is too, to invest in a quality binder because I've gone through so many binders thinking, oh, I can get this cheaper one and it wasn't worth it. Um, so, you know, invest in a pretty high quality binder. And then, you know what I didn't even mention, which I should have as I was going through, what uh, my coupons are in. I didn't even mention this to you guys. So anyways, what my coupons are in are baseball card inserts. Now you can, some people I've heard use different like photo type inserts that they can put their coupons in. For me, you can fit the most in a baseball card insert. Sometimes you will have to fold them. And I get that question a lot is people, you know, print off a coupon. They're like, how do you fit it in the baseball card? Well, you're gonna have to fold it. The thing when you're folding it to remember is that you wanna fold it so you can still see that expiration date. Because that way when you're going through, you know, and trying to weed through all the expired coupons, you can easily see the expiration date without having to pull out the coupon. So um, that's a tip there. All right, so we totaled for you guys how much it would cost to make a good quality binder. And with that, I mean a really good quality one, one that you're not gonna have to replace, you know. Um, and so we kind of added in about 18 to 20 sheets of baseball card inserts. And obviously I have more, but when you're starting out, that's, you know, a good amount. You don't wanna go crazy with coupons, you know, right when you're starting. And then we totaled for buying four sets of eight count plastic dividers, which that's good, what you're gonna need if you wanna go buy my category system. Now, obviously it's gonna cost you less money if you don't buy that many sets. And um, then we added in um, the binder and um, it came up a little over $30. Now, again, that's like kind of with regular prices. So if you're able to get sales or do rebates, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. But $30 for the amount of money you're gonna save with this binder system is uh, you know, so worth it. And I do wanna mention and caution you, not saying that you can't find a great place that produces coupon binders. There's a lot of places that sell these type of binders and it's kind of a convenience to go ahead and buy them but they're usually not high quality. So going out and making it yourself, I think is just well worth it. So anyway, I hope you guys got some tips out of this and you're motivated to go organize those coupons and remember, figure out the way that works for you. And um, yeah, so we will see you next week. Bye guys.